Hey guys, I'm back today. I am doing a little day golfing um, at Ambassador. So, look behind me, and I just came off that hole, which is what, three, excuse me, about 350, 360, I parted it. So now I'm gonna be doing this one back of me, which is 172. And I'm just gonna do, it's just me. So, we'll see what, how this goes. All right, so, six iron. Yeah, so that didn't go very well. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, 24 to the flag. Flag's in the front and it's on some serious slopage. So I'm gonna try uh, a sand wedge. See if I can walk down. I literally have to land it on the edge of the green. Left me a little bit for par. I'll just take you for a little. Oh, shoot. Take you for a little ride to show you how the slope is. I landed it, it just didn't travel as far as I wanted. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's a fun part. Sorry, I gotta do everything with one hand here. Downhill and to the right a little bit. Sorry if the wind's bugging. And if I would have hit that six iron better, it would have been a lot easier to putt. So, yeah, off to the next. Okay, so we are on number seven, I think. Yeah, sure, seven. I'm about 162. I'll give you a little shot of this. There's the pin. Way over there. Across the creek. I just scored a birdie on this hole, par five. I was on on three, and I one putted. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna shoot a seven, 162, and we'll see how well I can hit it. Somewhat going into the wind. Ah, 
chunked it. Well, as you saw, I kind of chunked that one. So, yeah. All right, so we are pretty close. Uh, maybe about 30 yards. So I'm gonna do a little chip and run and see how it lands. Yeah, that was all right for putt. Next. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little overview tour of the course. I'm on a par five and it's got water on the left that kind of wraps around and dog light to the right. And so I'll show you. So right there's the one I just came off. I just bogeyed that one. Uh, I'll show you the 15th when I get to it. And then there is the water on the part five and the flag is way down there. I think it's like 560 or something like that. I just want to give you a, what the course overview looks like. It's, it's a lot of little hills and a lot of sand. So on to the next. Okay, so, so far my part fives have been pretty top notch. My uh, three wood's been my superhero today. Um, so, sorry about wind if you hear it. So this is a part three. It's over a corner of the pond. You can see that. So that's just over there. A couple guys I'm waiting for right now. It's measuring 217. I'm gonna try my two iron. And I should be able to at least land it on the green hoping if the wind doesn't knock it down so we'll see what happens with that all right so 217 sort of a left to right wind and I'm hoping that my two iron can get it there with the wind and all that fun crap especially over the water wish me luck Alright, so the part three was pretty much a hot mess, so I didn't record any of it just because I got people behind me. Uh, so this one is their so-called iconic, this is their, their famous hole. So you got over the water, you can go for it. From here it's about a 254, but you're going into the wind, so that's a little issue. I am going to 
I'm probably gonna go like this. I'm gonna shoot across, and where's that sand trap? So that sand trap, I'm gonna go for that sand trap. And then hit the green right there. Then it'd be a little chip on and hopefully a birdie. But this is their famous hole. I just thought I'd uh, show you this one. It's got sand traps all over the place. This whole course has got sand trap everywhere. I apologize for the wind if it's uh, still going. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know how, what happened to this one. Okay, so we are on 16th. Yeah, 16th. It's a par 3, 184. Kind of cross breeze left to right. I am going to hit a 5 and see what goes. ended up a little short really nice head so yeah all right so I ended up not two yards three yards off the green a little short but I'm gonna take a chance on As you can see, I muffed that up. Three putted, uh, pretty much almost on the green. Whatever. So I'll, show, I'll give you a little bit more shot of the course, and it is nice. So just to give you a visual, I know the wind's kind of poopy, but there's the clubhouse. There's a bunch of sand traps I got to go over. There's the 18th. You got more water here and it's just a beautifully course i like this course a lot it's just when it's in season it's bloody expensive so yeah so this is a familiar place end of the round um four pars i got a birdie and just some misses when i get when i miss i miss um really odd is that I'm starting to, there we go, I am starting to draw the driver now, so, hmm, I'm, I was a consistent slicer for years and years and years, I still do it, but now, I think, four or five of the holes, I actually pulled it, 
and it was a nice draw. So, hmm, something to build off of. Um, yeah, I scored a little under my normal because of the birdie and four pars. So I'm seeing more rounds with more pars, which is good, which means I'm getting better. But my misses are bad, so I need to correct the misses, and then uh, things will be a little better. So, from Ambassador, see you next time.